Another day, another radical video. So this is Sonic Generations. I know it sounds crazy though, because like, yeah. as the Unleash HUD and all that stuff too, but this Generations with the Unleash Project. Literally, one of the best Generations mods out there. Like, it's impressive. Yeah. Like, the fact you can play the Day Sages in Generations with improved controls and stuff like that too is amazing. Sure, it's not the true Unleash experience because you're missing the Warhog, but it's still like, really impressive. Like, I love the Unleash project so much. And literally, the closest way to get Unleashed for PC, which is insane. And here's Act 2, so... One thing you change about this actually is that the ranking system is a lot more different than Unleash. It's actually a lot more harder than that game. Like, what's it called? Like, the thing too is that like, I've gotten, like, with this mod, I've gotten, like, more passive times in this game than Unleash. And I still get, like, an A or B rank, pretty much, but... Fortunately, there's a mod that restores the Unleash ranking system into Generations and Avalon actually, so you get that true Unleash uh, experience, same with all these other mods too. But yeah, these mods are so impressive that like, you don't even know what's Unleash and what's Generations, like, it's just insane. And it goes like how talented the Generations mod community is. Oh my god, I tried to do the, um, the trick right there, but fortunately I couldn't. Like, show this to someone, and they will think that, oh, there's Unleash. But the time generations, they'll be like, what? Is Unleash? Like, it's just so amazing, too. Like, and someone's making a Warhawk, and, like, someone's also making a Warhawk mod, too. It's actually, like, the Warhawk from Unleash. Literally, Warhawk from Unleash, which is amazing. But I can't open a mod to drop. And with that mod on, what's the call? You get the true Unleash experience, which is nice. Another change they did too is that like, um, like since they don't have the QTE ramps, like you have uh, the higher part rainbow rings and the lower part being the main dash panels, which it does throw you off a lot actually, especially if like you're used to the original stages over here. Pretty cool. <clears throat> but it got a lot of stuff like imported over to uh, this game actually, like it's actually crazy. I remember seeing like this uh, mod when it came out, lots of YouTube videos, it's just so impressive seeing this. And the going right there, pretty cool. Do that. All right, here's Savannah Citadel. So yeah, also someone made a um a mod for this game that restores the beta version of Savannah Citadel. That was in the first trailer of the game when it uh, got leaked. So like in the beta, so like in the beta Savannah Citadel, there was like um part where like um that huge hill you can like run up to on the wall, which is not present in the final game at all. So. That's a mod that came out. I don't know if like the true thing, but like it's actually like basically like a recreation of it, I think. Unless that's like stored in the game's bottles though. Alright, over here. Bro, huh? That's crazy. Yeah, level design wise is pretty identical to generations. Level design wise is pretty identical to Unleashed actually, except for like some modifications that uh have to be made. Like for example, like um in Empire City there was this part where like you had this big robot chasing you, but um you got places like Avoiding card, which I mean, I guess it makes a lot more sense though. The uh, card part and some other changes too. But other than that, it's like literally like near perfect. Like Unleash. Okay, over here. Nice. Do that. Here, the gold ring actually. Pretty nice. Pretty cool right here. And we're close to the gold ring and reach it. Pretty cool. Okay, here, your top run. Definitely the best one, honestly. I could a lot more than Generations. Like, Generations is pretty cool too, but like. I'm gonna choose more grand, in my opinion. But it's actually my like, yeah, it's actually like my second favorite stage in the game, honestly. Like I love the stage a lot, both day and night. Night stage is actually my favorite night stage. Love it so much. But yeah, a lot of this stuff makes me wish Unleash was on PC. Like, come on, Sega. Like, that's literally free money. Like, I really wish Sega, like, can port their older games onto, like, modern console and PC. Like, especially, like, Unleash, because, like, there's, like, no, like, way to, like, play accessibly except for, like, on Xbox One and Series S. And, uh, it used to be on PS, uh, now, on PS4 and PS5, but, like, that got removed. So, basically, when we to play, like, Unleash on PlayStation, it's just gone. Unless you want a PS3. And then the Adventure Games, for example, like, those should got ports. Like, I don't understand, like, the Adventure Game never got a port at all. But Power is it. I mean, Power is, you know, is one of the best received Sonic games in recent time, but like still, like, the Adventure Games is over like a port or even a remake, too. I don't know about remake, though, honestly. To be honest with you, I don't, don't trust them for a remake. If I should have to call the Ultimate, yeah, I don't really trust my remake. But like, since, like, in the world, like, remakes are like 
you know, Crash Guard remake, Spyro Guard remake, SpongeBob Guard remake, then like I can see, you know, a adventure remake happening, but I just don't trust them then, honestly. I mean, Frontier was good. I mean, Frontier was good, but like, I mean, still, like, I just still don't trust them at all. Do adventure. Oh, yeah, Sega, just please, like, like, just, but like, Sega, just please, like, please port your games onto, like, modern consoles and PC. I mean, they got, you know, PC, you got, like, Generations, Adventure 1 and 2, and, like, other stuff, too, but, like, then again, like, not everyone's a PC. Like, port the Avenger games onto, like, Switch, and, like, unleash on, like, modern consoles. Heck, even Generations, too, like, it's crazy that Generations hasn't got a single port, like, when it's also, like, another well-received Sonic game in 2010s. This doesn't even need remaster at all. All it needs is a simple port. Because, like, I don't really trust Sega either. What the? Oh. Okay. But yeah, I don't trust Sega at all doing a Generation remaster. Especially since, especially since... Especially since, like, Sonic 3 is coming up later this year. Like, come on. They gotta do the adventure ports and, like, other games too. Cause, like, Sonic Movie 3 is supposed to, like, you know, be an adaptation of SA2. Like, please. Like... If we don't port it at all, that's like literally a huge missed opportunity. And also, like the adventure games, and also like the adventure games should be pretty easy to like port over. Like all these ports should be like very easy money. I mean, we got like many, many ways to play the classics, but like you know, there's like no like accessible way to play Adventure One and Two other than like PC and like Xbox. All right, here's Dragon Road Act One. So, oh, remember me too. Someone ported the mobile version of Sonic One, Two, and CD on PC before Origins came out. Like, even before Origins got announced. Like, that's really crazy. Like, a fan had to do that before Sega did it. I mean, sure, like Sonic Origins version are not the best, but like still, like, yeah, all the remasters that came out, like in 2013 on like mobile, and like you have like other. Sonic 1 and 2 ports released later on, like the Sega Ages ports, which are pretty good, but nowhere near like the like perfectness of like the Sonic 1 and 2 and CD remakes. And like, I mean, sure, CD got like a, a console and PC port, but that's no longer available to so Sonic Origins. It's just crazy that it really took like a decade to port the remastered versions of the Sonic Classic games onto like modern consoles and like PC. And like a fan did that actually too. Like, I mean, the decompilation Sonic 1, 2, and CD. I mean, sure, like, CDZ on Steam, but like, but then again, more credit to the fan base, though. I just found it, like, just insane that a fan had to, like, port the remasters of the Class Sonic games before Sega did. I mean, I know Sonic 3 didn't got a support because, I mean, like, because of legal issues with the music, but, like, I mean, still, like, it's crazy. And then, my like, Sonic Colors got a remaster, and that turned out the way it did. I mean, sure, I have an Xbox, and I can play Unleash on there, which, I mean, is, like, the thin way to play Unleash, honestly. I mean, like, you got emulators, too, like, Xenia and RBCX3, but, like, they're not, like, the best. I actually hear, like, Xenia, you can actually play the game from start to finish, but, like, it's not as stable as Xbox, so... But, yeah, even, like, PC is not, like, the most viable way to play Unleash at this moment. I mean, they've gotten impressive, though, but, like, I mean, still, like, once you get, like, a perfect, like, you know, stable Unleash, then we should be good, but, like, come on, man, like... Please port the game on Steam and like PlayStation 5. Like I'll definitely buy Unleash like two times actually again on if it got remastered. Like come on. What's even good about Xbox as well too is that like um Unleash got a 60 FPS patch along with like generations and also racing transforms. So like get to play 60 FPS on um the Xbox Series consoles, which is why I got it anyway, just to play Unleash in 60 FPS. Cause like I mean like I've been wanting to play Unleash for a while again. I mean I had 360, but like Ain't no way I'm gonna bust my 360 open just to play Unleash and like sure got like Xenia, but like I want to play the game from start to finish, which I did for uh, Series S. And there you go. One thing I might understand though is that like I mean Unleash Heroes, those games are pretty divided. I mean, I love Unleash. I like Heroes. Not much though, but. I do like heroes. And a lot of people like them a lot, but like, there's a good amount of people that don't like them, for example. Like, I mean, like, people are still divided on Sonic Heroes and Unleash as well, too. And like, those were pretty divisive games back then. Even, too, like, um, Unleash got a lower score than 06 all of a sudden. I don't know why that happened, but then again, that's, uh, 
IGN for you. I know there's like some kind of like pieces for like a Heroes Remaster, but like, I mean, I don't see that happening because like, I think the engine that Heroes runs on is owned by EA, so they had to pay like huge like licensing fees for that actually. They can also emulate it too, which I mean, I could see why, but give them stuff like 3D All-Stars, yeah. Don't see that being the case. My favorite part about this stage is the uh, run out of water. Like, you do a lot of stuff in like Unleash. Like, for example, like you run out of water and like you're going from like, the jungle to like the city to like all these other locations. It's just so perfect. Like, this is like the only game, in my opinion, that like where the boost gameplay peaks in terms of like level design. Generation peaks with the controls, but like personally, in terms of like level design wise, it's Unleash. Like, that had never been topped since then. Like, you can tell like Sonic, like, you can definitely tell that like Sega, you know, wanted to make a game to like make people forget about 06 and you know, they did pay off pretty well. I mean, even though it wasn't that received back then, like, I mean, they gotta take a note that uh, reception though, like people like Unleash now with like leasing on digital stores to like compatibility and stuff like that too, which is pretty nice. So hopefully get a port soon, which I like. And they do like bring up Unleash here and there, which is pretty cool. Oh my God. And there we go, he's in the stage, and then look at that. Happy feet, wombo combo. Okay, here's Shamar. Honestly, it's probably the worst stage in the game, in my opinion, but it's not bad at all. It's actually pretty good, but like, it's definitely the one I played the least of. But it's not bad at all, actually. Like, but Shamar Knight is actually pretty bad, to be honest with you. Look at this man. Oops. Oh, I'm probably gonna die there, but. Okay, didn't see that coming. That's tough. They were gonna make an Unleash Project 2.0 where they're gonna like include the DLC adventure packs to the uh, project, but um, that got canceled unfortunately, which kind of sucks stuff, but we have adventure pack mods anyway, so it's not really like a huge loss. So, <laughs> tough. Your yeah, shortcut by pick? Nice, did that. That's how you actually do the S-Ring, actually. You have to um, get all the shortcuts to reduce uh, clear time, which is pretty cool. Yeah, they even give you an achievement for that, too. They even give you an achievement for that, too, which is pretty nice. Okay. Over here. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Nice. Also, I also want, like, the most, uh, like, it's crazy that, you know, I'm not a fan of this station much, but, like, I still, uh, I used to, like, level design-wise a bit. Like, these parts right here are just so amazing. Like, running on a wall is literally, like, impressive. That's why I say, like, the boost gameplay peaks with this game in terms of level design. And, <laughs> tough. And reached the end. Pretty good. And here's Empire City, so another favorite stage of mine, actually. Another thing, too, is that, like, um, it wasn't the Wii version at all, which I can see why, though, because, like, there's no guy Temple, and I feel like this stage was actually, like, made at the last minute. I feel like they didn't need, like, a city stage, pretty much. The same thing they did with Missouri, but, like, you only play the boss in Missouri, not the whole stage, which was weird, in my opinion. I don't know why they did that, but I guess they couldn't figure out a Missouri Wii design, I guess. Or they had no time at all, or the budget was, uh, not there, but, I mean, which felt pretty weird as a kid, honestly. Like, Missouri boss only on the Wii version, but not the stage itself okay over here <gasps> okay almost died there but we're good okay, over there air boost love taking a shortcut a lot thing too is that like this makes me want to play on leash again oh no well any stages actually like make me want to play on leash again yeah over here you see uh cars are like, in the way so that big enemy's not here i guess it kind of program it well the same thing's gonna apply to uh jungle door ride i'm gonna do a little cheese shortcut right here cool Nice right there. Cool. I don't really go to this shortcut that often though. I really like it though. Boy, like, man, Sonic running across a building is just amazing. Oh my god, right here. Nice. Perfect. Cool. Going right there. Did I make it there? Nope, did not. Easy air boost. Perfect. Alright. Saving the best for last. I love Jungle Joy White a lot. Like, literally. This is actually the best Unleashed stage of all time. It's just so amazing too. Like, First you start, you know, going through bridges and then you go to the jungle. Then you go outside the jungle and then back to the jungle. It's just like, I mean, like this amazing waterfall. It's just like literally amazing. You never see Sonic stage like this before, unfortunately, which does suck. I mean, as much of as much as I love Generations, like, I feel like it lacked that grand that Amish had. Like, 
Where, like, they show you, like, going all this stuff, basically. Which is amazing. I mean, sure, you, like, you have the gun truck being chasing you in Generations and, like, a crab, giant crab chasing you, but, like, still, like, it doesn't match the greatness that Unleash have. <laughs> I... You can't do this at all in the uh, original version. I can just literally... That's just crazy. I love dripping a lot here because like, you get like, a lot of speed. Well, not here, unfortunately. I'm playing in Generation Physics, but I mean... Yeah. Hey, look at this, man. Like, that'd be too... also too, like, so, like... It feels so real, like, seeing... Like, playing a Jungle Joy ride without frame drops. Like, it just feels so weird. But as a kid, I'm always used to, like, frame drops to the stage a lot on 360 version. Also, I got the same thing, too, when I played on my, uh, Xbox. Like, seeing no frame drops just... I mean, there's occasionally, like, a little minor dip, but, I mean, it's not, like, too crazy, but, like... The fact that it can run flawlessly... The fact that it can run flawlessly is just insane. But then again, Unleash was, like, way ahead of his time. A lot, which I love a lot. It's just crazy too that like Unleash like graphically looks better than Forces and like Frontiers in a way. Like Frontier looked pretty good, but like the budget was not really there. I mean the lighting is pretty good, but like personally I kind of feel like the like the visuals was a bit kind of uh meh. It got like some beautiful like scenery though, but like at the same time it doesn't feel like achieved the greatness that Unleash had unfortunately. But they probably did that because of uh they want to make it run the Switch, which yeah the Switch always uh locks down Sonic games a lot. I'm really hoping that Switch 2 uh console has not like, I mean I heard like they had the same um graphic like graphical level with, like PS4, which I take honestly. I'm not expecting you no know, like PlayStation 5. Xbox levels of like or PC levels of like greatness. I mean, it's Nintendo. I mean, sure, like they're way behind, but at the same time, I was like, I mean, PS4 visuals, I can take. But like, you know, taking like a console that's like as powerful as a PS4, I can take. I know the D I know in the DLC stage, you can actually like run over the uh waterfall, which is actually really cool. Oh my god, I went there back and then see that waterfall is just so good. Like graphically unleashed, it's just so way ahead of his time like like it feels like a game that would come out today personally all it needs is just 1080p which uh fortunately xbox doesn't have which unfortunately xbox doesn't have at all unfortunately so okay over here like it really took 12 years to get unleashed optimized on console but uh yeah that's all of the unleashed project and there's no eggman land i mean obvious because there's no warhog but a really really amazing mod love it so much <laughs>